So you're getting started with Instagram Reels and you want to create a video that includes some photos and videos, maybe some music. Well in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram Reel with photos and videos using the updated Instagram Reels video editor. Hi, I'm Ida, a corporate storyteller and online educator based in Vancouver, Canada. Are you an entrepreneur ready to take your business to the next level? But when it comes to Reels, you don't know how you can use them to grow your business? Well, I've created the Reels Blueprint, which is gonna guide you through the gear and the strategy behind using Reels to grow your business. Download my free Reels Blueprint now. To add photos and videos to Instagram Reels, you have a few options now. The first one is to use a template. So if I go into Plus in my profile, I can press Reels, and then once I'm in Reels, I'm going to see up here, I'm going to see templates. So that's going to allow me to see uh, what's currently available. So there's going to be some recommended to me, some trending ones, and some saved ones. So if I have some saved, I don't have any saved templates yet. So all I have saved is audios. So the audio I have saved, they have templates that are related to those audios that I could use as well. So. To use a template, once you select one, you just click on the screen and then you add your photos and videos. Let's add a video in there. You're very limited to the number of clips you can add. So you can see here in this template, I only had one, two, three, four, five clips that I can add and I can't really add more or less. It has to be the full five. And then when I press next, it's going to create that reel for me for that template. The only control I really have in this is I can click on one of the clips. So here I can adjust which part of the video I'm going to show in my clip. There we go. Or I can replace it with another clip and then that's about it. So that is how you would do it with templates. A quicker way to do it or a way that gives you more control is when you're back in here, instead of starting to add the clips themselves, select, select, just a quick button. And this is going to allow you to add multiple clips and videos into your reel at once. When you're doing this, I suggest adding them in the order that you want them to appear in the video because this is going to make it a lot easier for you later on. So I'm just going to add a bunch of photos and videos. Let's go for my videos. So I can add as few or as many as I want. So I have full control as to how many I can add and I can add up to 50 clips. Yeah, it's a lot. So 50 photos, videos, or a combination thereof. Once I have all of mine selected, I'm gonna press the arrow button and then it's going to automatically generate a reel for me synced to the audio that I select. So I can click here on the different audios and then I can pick which one I like. I can even go further and have more control. I can search for whichever song I want. I can check my saved songs click on one of those and it's going to make that real sync to music for me. And the best thing about this is when I press that arrow, that next thing, what it's going to still allow me to do is have full control of editing this. So I can click on edit video. You can see that they made this one really long, probably because it's of a reel, but I can click on it. I can shorten it and then I can readjust it to how I like it. By zooming in, I have full control to zoom in and out. So this is just going to give you more control of what you're going to do. You can even click on a clip and then do adjust section. So I just click on that. You can see I can move which part of the video it's going to show. So like this is a longer video, adjust section. You can see there's the full length of the video and I can adjust which section of that video I want to show, let's say there, because that's three photos. Done. And then once I'm done, if I want to save it, I can just click on the video itself. This is going to allow me to save it with no music. And then once I post it, I can save it with the music as well. So let's click next. I can share it and I'm ready to make my Instagram reel. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button or better yet, subscribe. 
you want to dive deeper, I have an amazing freebie that's going to transform your business. So download that now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time.